Hello, this is a little tutorial to cover something I've been having many questions about. Um, sometimes when you've created yourself a lower version of the server admin group, sometimes I get reports that that person who has that lower admin, who should have the ability to give someone some kind of server or channel group, or be able to modify and delete a channel or something, they spontaneously seem to be unable to do so, even though they should be able to. So I'm going to show you what can cause this. In here I've got three tabs. I've got the server owner with the full server admin. I've got server admin which just has admin which is a special group which is just lower than server admin. And then I have a complete guest. So I'm going to go on my lower version of the admin here as we can see here we have server admin, admin normal and guest. An admin, as you may expect, has less member add and remove power, modify, things like this. Um, and as you can see here, if I, as the admin here, not server admin, if I right click server guest, go to set server group, I am able to set them as normal and I can take normal away from them. I can also right click them and give them a, a channel group, which a special channel group that I made that someone who is uh, just admin for the server group should be able to assign. So let's see. I click special channel admin, it assigns it and click it off and it revokes it. And as I can see in here in order to give someone or take someone away from this group, this channel group, special channel admin, you need a power of 70, which the server group admin actually has. Now, the problem that people run into is one of these admins will go and create a channel somewhere. Okay, so now they start hanging out in their channel or it's a channel that was existing and they were given a channel group inside there as you can see since as admin here I created this channel so I get the default channel admin channel group because that's how TeamSpeak works you get a default server group when you enter a server and you get a default channel group and when you create a channel you get whatever is the default channel admin so now I've got this I've just created my channel everything's fine so when I right click on server guest and go to set server group, normal is grayed out. I'm completely unable to give them normal. Now if I right click them and go to set channel group, I can select everything apart from the special channel admin group. So if I try channel admin, that works. But for some reason, people don't realize why they're completely unable to give someone this channel group or this server group even though normal group needed is 60 so in order to give someone normal you need to have a power of 60 for add and admin has a power of 70 so they should be able to do it now here's the key here's why it doesn't work because a channel group by default will override permissions from a server group because there's a hierarchy I don't have the entire hierarchy memorized but it's something like uh, a server group uh, a client permission will overwrite a server group a channel group will overwrite a server group um, a channel permission will overwrite a server group but a channel group will overwrite a channel permission it's something like that there's like a hierarchy of this will overwrite all the other permissions before it so when you have the channel group channel admin it cripples you and the reason why it cripples you is I'll show you here channel admin only has a group member add and remove power of 50 and because a channel group will overwrite a server group even though you as an admin should have a power of 70 
The channel group is overwriting you and only giving you 50, which is crippling you while you are in this channel with this group. So the things that you can do to resolve this are either remove your channel admin channel group and now that should take away the restriction and as you can see now I can assign the special channel admin and I can give them normal and take normal away so that's one way of fixing it if I put that back on so now I shouldn't be able to do it the other way of fixing it is if you go into your permissions under your server group if you know that this admin group or whatever server group it is you're dealing with is the main power this is like this is them this is everything they're able to do this is the top level of everything if that's the case and there are permissions being overwritten because of channel groups what you do to those particular permissions for example the member add here go to your server group for that person's uh, power find those permissions for example here group member add power and hit the skip flag next to their actual power and what this will do is even though they have channel admin they may need to reconnect perhaps when you very first do this because sometimes TeamSpeak kind of glitches out but once you've done this and you've added the skip next to their permissions on the server group they should be able to right click the person and now oh, if I do it on the correct tab so now as an admin with a channel group admin if I try to give the server guest normal now it works now they've got normal now they're a guest if I try to give them channel group I can give them everything all the way up to special so that's another way that you can fix this selectively by just making sure that the particular permissions you don't want to be overwritten are skipped. Another potential way of fixing this, if you don't want to use that method, if you're absolutely certain that you're not even using channel groups, because your entire server is all based on server uh, groups, you don't have like a really big complicated server with all kinds of different separate groups of people or anything, you might not need channel groups. So in this case, what you could do is you could change the default groups on the server by clicking up here at the very top of your server, right click, hit edit virtual server, hit more if you don't see the big screen like this, and then under misc for miscellaneous, you'll find this default groups area. This has the default groups that people have. So when someone very first enters the server, they're a guest. For the server group same thing for the channel group but when someone creates a channel the group that they get given is channel admin now if you know for sure that everybody's server group has sufficient ability to modify channels and everything that they need and just the channel groups are just crippling you you can change the default channel admin group to guest so now this is the one that I created previously so now if I try to as just the admin if with the channel admin from the prior channel that I made if I try to give this guest normal it won't work but from this point on if I create a new channel when I create that channel and I go into it you can see here I don't have a channel group so now I won't be afflicted by this problem so even though in this channel I would have the problem because this channel was created before when everything would give you a default channel admin group now when I'm inside here and I try to give people groups it will work perfectly see there's normal there's take normal away and there's a special channel admin and get rid of that so those are some ways that you can resolve the problem without having to try to rework everything and figure everything out because it is a bit of a, a mind screw because you check the permissions and you're like they've got 70 and they're unable to do it 
So hopefully you found this video useful. This will answer some questions for a lot of people. Uh, if you did like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Also check out the playlist for TeamSpeak on my channel because you will find a nicely organized list of videos, one video building on top of the last one. Uh, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.